Once upon a time there was a kind woodcutter and his wife. They lived a simple life but longed for a child. I wish we had a child, the woodcutter sighed one day. Even if he were no bigger than my thumb, we'd be the happiest people alive. Little did he know his wish would be granted in the most unexpected way. One day, the woodcutter's wife was baking bread when a tiny figure peeked out from the flour sack. Hello, squeaked the figure. It was a tiny boy, no bigger than the woodcutter's thumb. Overjoyed, the couple named him Tom Thumb and showered him with love. Despite his size, Tom was a bright and curious child. He loved to hear stories and quickly learned about the world around him. Tom was also incredibly helpful and resourceful, always finding ways to assist his parents with their chores. One sunny morning, the woodcutter prepared to go to the forest to sell wood. Father, let me come with you, pleaded Tom. I can be your helper. The woodcutter chuckled, thinking it impossible. But Tom insisted, and to everyone's surprise, he figured out a way to help. Tom climbed onto the horse's ear and whispered directions to his father, guiding him through the forest paths. People they met along the way were amazed by the talking horse, unaware of little Tom's secret role in guiding them. Tom's intelligence and wit impressed everyone he met. They realized that despite his size, Tom was a force to be reckoned with. His ability to think quickly and find clever solutions made him an invaluable companion. One day while traveling to the market, the woodcutter and Tom encountered two strangers. The strangers, impressed by Tom's small size, saw an opportunity to make money. We'll pay you handsomely for this extraordinary little fellow, they told the woodcutter, their eyes gleaming with mischief. The woodcutter, blinded by the promise of wealth, agreed to part with Tom. He made the strangers promise to take good care of his son. Tom, however, was wary of the strangers and their intentions. He knew he had to find a way to escape. As they walked through a field, Tom spotted a tiny mouse hole. Seizing the opportunity, he pretended to trip and fell near the hole. Oh dear, I've twisted my ankle, he cried out, clutching his foot. While the strangers were distracted, Tom quickly slipped into the mouse hole, leaving them bewildered and empty-handed. Section 4. Outsmarting the thieves, Tom's quick thinking prevails. Tom eventually found his way back to the forest, but his adventures were far from over. He stumbled upon a group of thieves who were planning to rob a wealthy merchant's house. Tom, small but brave, decided to intervene and protect the merchant's belongings. He overheard their plan and decided to use his size to his advantage. As the thieves prepared to break in, Tom slipped into the house through a crack in the wall. He started making noises, mimicking the sound of dogs barking and people talking. The thieves, terrified by the commotion, thought they had stumbled upon a house full of guards. They abandoned their plan and fled into the night, leaving the merchant's house safe and sound. Tom's quick thinking and bravery had saved the day. Section 5. A cow, a wolf and a very lucky boy. Exhausted from his adventure, Tom decided to rest in a nearby meadow. Little did he know that another misadventure awaited him. As he slept soundly, a curious cow came by and accidentally swallowed him whole. Trapped inside the cow's stomach, Tom felt scared but refused to give up. He started jumping and yelling, causing the cow so much discomfort that it ran around in confusion. The commotion attracted a hungry wolf who saw the distressed cow as an easy target. The wolf attacked the cow, killing it instantly. Tom, still trapped inside the cow's stomach, braced himself for the worst. But as luck would have it, the wolf, too full from eating the cow, didn't bother checking its stomach. Section 6 reunited at last. Tom returns home a hero. After what felt like an eternity, Tom felt a sharp tug. The wolf, mistaking the cow's stomach for something else, had dragged it back to its den. Tom saw his chance and quickly cut a hole in the stomach, escaping from his smelly prison. He found his way out of the wolf's den and, after many days of walking, finally arrived back at his parents' doorstep. The woodcutter and his wife, overjoyed to see their beloved son, welcomed him with open arms. Tom recounted his adventures, filling their hearts with pride and amazement. He had faced countless dangers, outsmarted thieves, and escaped from the belly of a cow and a wolf. From that day forward, Tom Thumb became a local legend. His story a reminder that even the smallest among us can be the bravest of heroes.